Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. It's been a while. Uh, this is Kranzer, by the way. In case you couldn't remember, you know, since you're on my channel anyway. Uh, I've been I've been kind of uh, taking a break from making videos, having a little bit of trouble coming up with uh, ideas for content. And then, lo and behold, they released information about Gul'dan coming to the PTR. And I crapped my pants. Because... Back in the day when I played World of Warcraft, like six years or so of time that I put into that game, I was a Warlock main for so long. So I was very eager and anxious simultaneously to come on here and see just how much of a Warlock, you know, they transferred into Heroes of the Storm. So here we are, my first game, loading up right now. Um... I've, I've tried them out in try mode, and nothing else. So I bought the, uh, the whatever that spider skin was. I've only got the uh, first tent, so that's the best matching I can do. But it looks pretty cool, pretty cool skin. I think that, that's pretty nice. It goes with the mount that I got from my uh, my seasonal reward pretty well. So I've been I've been thinking about this guy, how to build him, and looking at their team. I think I think I'm going to try out a build that I was gonna build up with uh, corruption. Now, like I was saying, how does he uh, how does he portray as a uh, warlock, right? How good did he do? And I think they captured the essence of the Warlock class pretty well. Uh, he can't... He doesn't have any kind of uh, mana regen. You got a life tap, which is very Warlockish. Super Warlockish. And I like it. I like it a lot. Oh shit! Oh shit! Help! Help! Oh, I ate it. I ate that. I gotta get out of here before that kills me. So level one, I picked up the talent, uh, or the quest for corruption. After I hit 30 people with it, which I'm still testing out the talents, you know, I'm trying to figure out a build. Um, after I hit 30 people, it goes out in a three-round burst and then comes back in the same three-round burst. But, as you can see, I've only hit two people so far. Hey, I got two more. How's it going, Zeratul? So I need some practice with that ability. For sure. Uh-uh. Bro. Shit. Shit. Run. <laughs> so, level four, I'll be picking up uh, killing enemies with my drain life. Lowers the cooldown just for better self sustain. Since we don't really have any, uh, any healers here, it gives me more self sustain in, uh, in a way. It's gonna take some getting used to to, to uh, actually life tap my way. Like, well, not really. I mean, I, since I played Warlock for so long, it's not. It shouldn't take too long, but still, a little different. Now I can like drain life on this guy. And as long as he dies, my cooldown gets reset. What's up, Zeratul? You turd. Think you're sexy? Is that what it is? Think you're sexy, bro? Man, this guy. This Zeratul, man. He's wanting the balls. He's wanting my nizzuts. Man, that was a good throw. 
So I don't have any good targets. Ugh. This fucking Zeratul, man. Get his teammates killed. And I'm gonna go back. So with a healer on your team, this won't be so bad, but without a healer, your life tapping, no mana regen thing, you might actually want to invest in improving your life your life taps. But, like I said, we're going to try out this build. <coughs> now, at, at 7, I've been thinking to go with Hunger for Power. This is not my Drain Life build by any means. This is a uh, improving the damage of corruption kind of build. I'm kind of wondering. I haven't done it yet. I'm going to try out uh, maybe later tanking some camps just to see how good he can solo camp. Because I could imagine with uh, Drain Life, keeping him alive, if you specialize in Drain Life, you could actually do pretty well. So I'm at 8 out of 30 stacks so far. He is coming down there, kids. He is coming down there. Alright. He stopped. This fucking Zeratul, man. Like, he, he thinks he's invisible, but he's not. Eat those corruption stacks. Drain your life. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and heal at the fountain. <coughs> now, I tried out both the level 10 alts, and I'm, I don't know. Um... I, I kind of prefer, uh... Oh, shit. Our battle cannot remain here. Turn around and fight him! I prefer the ult that gives me the, uh... the fear right now. The other one, I don't remember what it's called, Rain of Fire? Yeah, Rain of Fire. Uh, it doesn't... it doesn't... Eh, it's got such a big area. Oh yeah, double stack. It's got a big area, act, you know, of activation to it. And, uh, that implies a lot of random damage. Horrifies what we'll be doing. Guy is solid. Our glory radiates through this land. Yeah, this, this this hero is totally solid. Um, so yeah, horrify. It lets me put a little orb on the ground, and that's the area of effect. And anybody in that orb gets feared temporarily. Pretty nice. Great way to get people off of you. What the hell? Hadouken. No, 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 no. That was kind of a waste. I probably would have killed her with the corruption. But, you know, new character, right? I do wish that they would let me life tap on the mount. That would be cool. But that's not how it's going down right now. 16 out of 30 stacks so far, and it's good you don't lose your uh, your progress with the quest, so that's nice. That was a wreckage. Alright, so uh, I need to find more heroes, man. Everybody's all split up. Well, hello there. The time oh. The time has come. So level 13 is coming around. Level 13, I'm going to be going with Health Stone for the self-sustain. Get her! Got her with one stack. And when I kill this minion, it makes my cooldown so much shorter on my drain life, so I can do it again. But the guy that I was going to do it on died, so... 
So now we got Hellstone, which is going to be anti-dive mechanics. Nice, nice. I think uh, I think the drain life would definitely be good in like quick matches, like drain life build, where you just worry about yourself sustain and healing and stuff like that. And uh, like I said, the reason why I picked Hunger for Power, uh, since nobody on my team can heal me, losing 25% healing from teammates is like irrelevant. So because of that, my damage will be 15% higher on my abilities, which is worth. That feared her the wrong direction. <laughs> Damn. I'm so sad. <laughs> oh, missed. So bad. Oh, drag him into it. Oh, they're going ham. Team's going ham. Give me that life steal. Good job, team. Yeah, his wave clear is pretty crazy, too. Love it. Yeah, let's go ahead and push that. Now, of course, he cannot, uh... He can stack corruption on buildings, and he can hit it with multiple shots, so it will stack up and do tons of damage. Absolutely tons of damage. But... You can't drain life buildings. Only players or mercenaries, you know, living things. I mean, that makes sense. Living things can be drain lifed. Damn it. So that can be kind of problematic for you if you don't have a healer, I guess. But most of the time, it seems to be working out pretty well. So. Nope. And I run away. Oh, oh no, he's chasing me. He's still coming after me. That uh that hellstone just saved my ass. We stand victorious. So uh, save my ass. Hopefully he doesn't try to dive me here because I will die. I still have, I've only gotten one stack in the last couple minutes. So this is what I was thinking that it was gonna be kinda difficult to get this done. Yeah, the game is kind of cha chaotic. I mean, in a normal, more organized match, teams would be a little bit less chaotic in that sense. Now at 16, I'm going with Ruinous Affliction, which if I hit, which is going to work with the uh, E that I picked up there at level one, the the quest. As soon as I finish it, of course. If I hit somebody with three stacks, um, oh yeah. If I hit somebody with uh, three stacks of the ability. It's going to do all kinds of extra damage. God, I could have had a, I had a great opportunity right there to get some stacks. I fucking messed it up. Damn. Damn. Ran out of stuff, but I think the Immortal is going to kill the game when... so... Well... That was an okay display. I, got, I didn't get to do, like... I didn't even finish my damn quest. I did have the most damage. Not surprising. This guy's pretty strong. Very, very strong for mid-range. Like, I, I see him competing with Kalthos pretty well in mid-range combat. Uh, go over the talents real quick again. So this is what I was trying to get stacked up. Essentially, I failed at it, but, you know, haven't practiced a lot. Team comps weren't ideal, so I, I can expect not to get it done right away. Anyway, this is this is the idea. So this thing, you get 30 stacks on it. When it hits the third spot, it will come back. So to hit the third spot again, second spot, and then first spot. So to do six shots. So if you get into a good team fight area where, you know, there, the, the fight's going on and everybody's in into it, balls deep, that will come back and hit everybody 
for a maximum of three times, stacking up three times. Now, in combination with the level 16 talent, the first, uh, when you hit somebody, it does additional damage. I think at level 20, it's like an extra 140 damage every shot. And if you hit them with three shots, then it does like an extra 500 damage at level 20 or something like that. The damage it's reading right there is the base damage. So that talent at 16 works in conjunction with the talent at level 1. So you'll get the six shots. So you shoot it into a team and then back. And if it hits people three times, which, you know, if they're standing in that area and it going back and forth, you're pretty much guaranteed to get a couple people hit three times. You're doing tons of extra damage on top of the already high overtime damage that it does. This also works on buildings. I tried it on a keep. You shoot it across the keep, hit the keep like with two, if you're lucky, three of the shots from the corruption. And then it comes back and hits it again. It's going to hit that extra 78 damage, extra 78 damage, extra 200 damage. This is just going off the base, as you can see on the talent. And it's going to come back and hit again for more extra damage on top of it stacking up the extra bonus damage. So I was able to take a keep down like half HP in 10 seconds. You know, it, it, it was ridiculous. I'll have to I have to do it uh, later. I'll have to show it off a little bit. But that was my my corruption build. Uh, I'm gonna work on some more content because uh, if you paid any attention at all to the PTR notes, there are tons of changes going through this patch. Tons of changes. So I'm gonna explore a couple of the heroes. Probably try to do a couple more games as this guy get get some more practice in because. I think I found my new main hero that I want to play, my new assassin. I'm an assassin player, and when they announced him as a warlock that's an assassin and not some kind of like specialist bullcrap like they did with my necromancer, I was super excited. So uh, that's all for now. Um, I'll try to get some more content, maybe uh, do some splice editing, you know, cut in some scenes and talk about the character some more after I get some more practice in. Uh, if you like the video, thumbs up. If you want more content, subscribe, and I uh, will catch you next time.